once the loudspeaker spoke up and said. Greetings from just off Orwell Lane. Superman, the American archetype of morality, epitomized into pop culture in the form of a Kryptonian superhero, has been a cornerstone since his inception. No other form of media, before or since, captured the essence of this more than the Fleischer Studio cartoons of the early 1940s. Although they only completed the initial short and eight further cartoons until 1942 when famous studios took over, they remain to this day stalwarts of Americana in both their artistic accomplishment as well as bringing the Man of Steel himself truly alive for the first time. It is most appropriate then that in this installment, Superman is faced with one of the big three things that every boy loves, tractors, trains, and of course, dinosaurs. From Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's The Lost World, to Edgar Rice Burroughs' The Land That Time Forgot, to Jules Verne's Journey to the Center of the Earth, dinosaurs were just as much a part of the childhood zeitgeist as they are today with the Jurassic Park films. Even King Kong, the seminal classic, featured a Tyrannosaurus Rex in 1933 and with studio re-releases in theaters in both 1938 and 1942, the same year as this particular episode, the audience was well primed for what lay in store for them. While our contemporary instinct is to first be reminded of Godzilla when we see the dinosaur in this particular episode, this predates it, that kaiju classic, by well over 12 years. Directed by Dave Fleischer, produced by his brother Max Fleischer, with the voices of Bud Collier, Joan Alexander, Jackson Beck, and Julian Noah, rotoscoped animation by Willard Bowski and Ruben Grossman, from a story by Bill Turner and Ted Pierce, and scored by Sammy Timberg. Sit back, get the popcorn, and prepare to enjoy The Arctic Giant from February 26, 1942. <laughs> Faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings at a single bound, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the Man of Steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. Penetrating deep into the frozen wastes of the great Arctic plains, an archaeological expedition searching for prehistoric fossils makes an amazing discovery. A huge monster, as lifelike in appearance as when it roamed the Earth millions of years ago in the Mesozoic Age, is found frozen in the ice in a state of perfect preservation. Constantly handicapped by the hazardous sub-zero elements, the scientists and their band of tireless workers succeed in removing the mammoth creature from the frozen pit. The ice-encased monster is loaded into the hold of a huge freighter equipped with a special refrigeration plant and brought to this country. Here, in a specially constructed wing of the Museum of Natural Science, this awe-inspiring creature is displayed to the public for the first time. say that if the ice were permitted to thaw, there's a possibility the monster might still be alive? Thank you, Professor. Yes, Chief. Lois, there's a new angle on that frozen monster story. Get over to the museum and see what's doing. They've got him in a special refrigerator. Okay, Chief. A 
Lois. Want me to go over there with you? No, thanks. You'd probably faint if you saw the monster. You scare so easily. Maybe she's right, but Superman hasn't fainted yet. And produces the necessary refrigeration. The control board is downstairs. I'll show it. The entire plant is operated from this board. The thermometer must be watched constantly, as any rise in temperature might prove dangerous. Boy, what a story! Everybody, step lively, please. Use the nearest exit. Please, folks, keep moving. We have to clear this room at once. That's what he thinks. Police headquarters. Hello, Chief. Send the riot squad. We're in trouble. is in the museum. Better get over there, Kent. Right. This looks like a job for Superman. Where you'll be safe. I've got some work to do. Yes, sir. And this the best story in years? Swell chance.
this time, stay put. Yes, my lord, and thanks. <gasps> Plenty of courage getting that monster story, Lois. Thanks, but where were you? Me? Oh, I must have fainted. <laughs>